In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the easiest bunch defense that you can be running right now in Madden 23. This defense specifically is very good uh, for defending a lot of the things that Gun Bunch does well. Now, I'm going to show you this defense out of the dollar formation. If you want to get my entire dollar 3-2 defensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. That is going to be linked down in the description. 10 bucks will get you access to everything over there. All of our ebooks, all of the updates to those ebooks, and any new ebooks books that we release while your membership is active. So make sure that you become a Patreon member today and let's get into the defense. So from a coaching adjustments perspective, what I like to run is we're going to go base align dollar and then we're going to go zone coverages on match. And then you can turn auto flip on or off. That's up to you. But really the best way to run this is we're going to utilize the uh, spinner defense specifically. So what I like to do is I actually like to come out in DB fire Two and audible into spinner. I'm going to show you why. So when you audible into spinner, and you press, if you man up, they don't move. They still keep their zone principles, so they don't move. Now, you can bring these guys down just like we normally do anyway, uh, but they don't move, which is super, super helpful. Now, the outside corners still do move, but you want to back off that bunch side corner. And essentially, the adjustments, the, the easiest way to defend bunch, in my opinion, is we're just going to man up that, uh, that safety on the left side on the tight end, we're going to hard flat this uh, this blitzing linebacker. And then I like to put this guy on the left side in a third. And essentially, if the running back runs around, I'm going to guard him. If he, if he stays in the block, then we're going to basically work the middle of the field. So essentially, this is the defense. The running back oftentimes is going to stay in the block. If they try to run something like this right here, you have a lot of leverage. And the pressure comes in so fast against Bunch this year that it makes it really, really hard uh, to be consistent. So again, what I like to do, you could do it out of DB Fire too, by the way. Um, what you would want to do out of DB Fire is you would want to, and if you were going to run this out of DB Fire, what I would recommend that you did uh, is take the safety and man him up onto the uh, slot receiver. And then what I would do is drop maybe like a third over there on the right side. You could also drop a cloud. Uh, anyway, then bring this guy backside, man him up on the tight end, take the linebacker, man him up on the outside bunch receiver. And then you're still running a third on the left. So you still same basic concept. It's just, we now have a zone defender over there on the right side instead of somebody manned up. And as you can see, I mean, you're going to scream a bunch. And then the beauty of this is there's not a whole lot that they can do quick. Now, one of the best man beaters in bunch that I'll show you real quick is to play verticals. Verticals is really good um, because if you're going to send pressure this year, you typically do it. You're not going to shade underneath. And so they can throw these quick throw wheels literally all game. Like they can throw a lot of quick throw wheels at you and it's really hard to defend. So what I like to do to counter that, this is why we want to manually back off the bunch side corner. Now, the left side guy can remain pressed. You can do a lot of different adjustments with him. One of the adjustments, one of the other adjustments that you can do here is you can run what's known as the scissor adjustment where you man up that left side safety on the solo wide receiver and then you man up the solo wide receiver side corner onto the running back. This will take away the running back completely. Um, it will limit the solo receiver. The solo receiver can still get separation. If you wanted to do this, another cool way to do it is to put a hard flat out there. That'll take away anything to the flat to the left side. It'll also still kind of help a little bit with the solo wide receiver. And that that cross man, this guy cross man on that solo wide receiver, a lot of times it does really good at stopping post routes, streak routes, C routes, stuff like that. But essentially, if they try to throw this verticals quick throw, because he has because that right side guy has so much leverage to the outside. They literally can't throw it. It's going to probably be an interception every single time. If it is a completion, it's going to be like a two-yard completion. So, again, if you just call Spinner, back this guy off, and then man the tight end up, this is fine. Like, this is super simple uh, in terms of how you want to defend Bunch, but this is going to work. Um, you can put a third over there and bracket the solo wide receiver. It's not a bad idea. Um, you know, typically in bunch this year, they're blocking people and this will kind of help take the solo wide receiver out completely. And now you can spend more time over the middle of the field, just lurking the best stuff from bunch. 
If you think about it, the best stuff that Bunch does, if you think about the main concepts that are super good, I like to shade outside because most of the routes are trying to go outside. So you can shade outside, shade over top. And then if you watch here, like let's take a look at this deep corner play. That safety on the right side, he he's not going to play it perfectly every single time. But he, he can play it, um, especially if you move them. So, uh, again, this is a little bit of a pro tip, but your players, your safeties will play better man coverage if they are moved pre-snap. If they come down in the box, I find they play a little bit better. A lot of pros have pretty much been on that all year. Not something I came up with, uh, but something that I think you need to be aware of. So if you just move the safety just a little bit, they play better in coverage. And then, like I said, if they, you know, maybe they're doing a, a pass pro like this, you know, now this corner route, you see there, now the KO plays. And then if that's a, that's a, there's a chance that's a KO, right? Like that's going to be KO'd a lot. And again, if they're just, if they're going to go to that all game long, put that guy on the right side in a cloud flat. You've already backed him off. So they already have to respect the fact that they can't really throw, um, they can't really throw the quick throw wheel out of verticals. So now guess what you get to do? Now you can take the slot corner, man him up on the outside receiver. Everything still looks the same so far, right? Maybe you want to move these guys down and do whatever, but you can get really adjusty from this basic defense relatively easily. And the beauty of it is if you have a cloud on that bunch side, especially for a play like deep corner, um, you're still going to get your pressure, but now he's running that right into a cloud flat. It's just not going to be very consistent for him. So, Again, at, at, at its most basic level, the best bunch defense of the game is to call spinner back off that right side player. And then I like to recrash my line down and then uh, man up the tight end. It, it can be that simple for you. And you will bag the majority of people that run bunch. I would always pass commit when you're playing bunch, um, unless you're playing someone that's running the ball a lot. Pass committee will really help the pressure uh, from dollar. Guys, thanks for watching the video. And if you want to get my entire dollar defensive ebook, I have a ton of strategies in that ebook for how to defend the best formations in the game bunch tight, U trips, trips, spread sets, all of it. Everything is in the Patreon. Uh, $10 gets you access to all of the ebooks, all of the updates. So head down to the description and go check out the Patreon page.